Daybreak, Chapter 7, Spar Twilight swung at the hanging punching bag, which made weak puff noises every time that she connected. Her hooves jerked back and forth, and she winced with each impact, as if she was afraid the bag would hit back. Daring Do snickered from the other side of the bag. You have not practiced at all, have you? Twilight groaned. I keep telling my mom, I'm an alicorn. I have so much magic, I can turn any attacker to paste. She sat back and took a swig of water. You want to see my self-defense classes? Take a look at my magic portfolio. Daring Do nudged the punching bag to let it swing. Then what's all this for? Twilight smirked. Because, if she asks me if I've been keeping up, I can answer with an honest yes and avoid the lecture. Daring Do caught the bag. I am so telling on you. You wouldn't. I so would. You wouldn't dare. Actually, I was gonna write to Velvet anyways. Two birds with one stone. Daring Do held a hoof to her mouth. Spike! Hey, Spike! I got a job for you! Twilight Sparkle grabbed Daring's shoulder. You are literally going to tattle on a princess! Impeach Twilight Sparkle! Daring Do hollered. She's disobeying her mom! Twilight pulled her mouth to one side. You can't impeach a princess. So it's banishment then? Daring Do poked Twilight's chest. To the moon with you, and no supper. Care Carrot walked in, her coat damp from her morning run. She whistled as she looked around. Now this is a workout room. Treadmills, barbells, chin-up bars. She rubbed a hoof over a countertop. And a nice thick layer of dust. Behold! The royal guard has arrived to haul our delinquent princess away! Daring Do hid behind the punching bag. We salute their bravery. Care stopped on her way to a weightlifting station. She then cocked an eyebrow. Is she drunk? Daring Do rolled her eyes. <sighs> Why does every pony keep asking me that? No, I'm just having fun. She nudged Twilight's shoulder. Little Miss Magic here hasn't been practicing her self-defense. Care wrapped bandages tight around her hooves. Well, that sounds like a personal problem to me. Daring Do waved it off. She hunched down before the bag. Come on, Sparkle, you've got Earth Pony magic in you. You should be able to hit 10 or 11 times what I can. You're holding yourself back. Her hooves slammed into the punching bag as she hit it with a 1-2-3 combo. She finished up by dropping to her four hooves and twisting around to buck. Sand then poofed through the seams. See? This is about hitting solid, hard. You aren't going to knock a creepo down by slapping them. Not necessarily. Care said. She walked over to the bag, tightening the last of her wraps. If you can hit some pony enough times in a short time span, you can blow them off of their hooves. Twilight Sparkle sighed. Guys, I don't want to get into a fight. I can suspend a pony in midair, I can glue their hooves in place, and I can freeze them if they really need taking down. She shrugged. I can leave the fisticuffs for experts and professionals. Care danced lightly on her hooves. You want to take down the hurricane pony, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Twilight said. But that's why you're on the team, right? Darren grabbed a foreleg to stretch it across her chest. Celestia's pretty good at magic, right? Well, Hurricane took her down. Twilight and Care pursed their lips and looked at anything but each other. Daring shrunk in on herself. <sighs> this is what I get for having a point. She muttered. Look, Twilight, I can't force you to practice. Care said after a moment. But if you wanna, I'll help you out. Thanks, Care. Twilight smiled. She then lowered her eyebrows and looked at the guard's bandages. So, what are those for? Care double-checked her knots. So I don't break some pony's muzzle when I kick them in the face. She then chuckled. But really, I use a lot of side strikes in my hoof and hoof. After a while, my fur and skin starts to get a little roughed up by the training dummies. Daring popped her neck. So, you looking for a sparring partner? Care raised an eyebrow. She looked daring up and down from her grayscale mane to her muscular legs. You look like you can take it, I think. You sure you're up for sparring with a guard, Miss Yelling? Hey, now not every author's a flabby pony who sits on their butt all day. Daring trotted over to the counter and wrapped her own hooves in a white wrap. I was a guard back in my day. Served under Sparkle's mom. Really? Care turned to Twilight. So, who's your mom? Twilight Velvet. Twilight said, adding another path to her collection. She's Yelling's editor. Care's mouth fell open. Twilight Velvet? The Twilight Velvet, as in former captain of the Royal Guard, Twilight Velvet? Daring stretched her wings one at a time. So, you know her? Not personally, but... Jeez. Care bumped her forehead. 
I don't know how I didn't make the connection. Twilight Sparkle, Princess of Equestria. Your brother is the former Captain of the Guard and current Prince of the Crystal Empire. Of course, your mom would be Captain Velvet. I'm pretty sure that heroism runs in their genes. Daring said. Now, you've got me curious. Caroline did close to Twilight as the princess continued to weakly box the punching bag. Who's your dad? A noble knight? A former mercenary? Maybe a retired ambassador to the dragons? No, he teaches astronomy at the Canterlot Junior College. Care pulled a face. She then turned to stare on Daring. Uh, translation? Daring held her hooves up. That's all I got too. Uh, he discovered a comet once, I guess. Care and Daring stood across from each other on the mat. Care fastened a padded helmet. I'm pretty sure you guys are just messing with me. Daring do tighten the chin strap on her helmet. Seriously, his defining feature is that he hasn't faced a titanic monster in his entire life. But he did kick butt when the changelings did invade Canterlot, but we were all together for that one. She punched the air twice. Were you even out of diapers when that happened? Care scrunched her muzzle. I was 13. Daring grinned. You didn't answer my question. Care squinted. You're trying to get me riled up, and it won't work. Daring spread her wings and balanced on her hind legs. Show me what you got, rookie. Care hunkered down on her hind legs to keep her forehooves close to her face. No magic? Daring nodded, folding her wings tight. Cool with me? No quarter to give in? Care tilted her head. She lowered her hooves. Excuse me? Just a joke, rookie. Daring rolled her hooves around each other. You say when? Care then clenched her teeth tight. When? She kicked her hind legs back, sending her leaping towards Daring. She rolled and came up swinging. Ten punches hit Daring's upraised forelegs in quick succession. Care swung a rear leg in a semicircle to catch her opponents, but Daring Do hopped over it. On her way down, Daring brought her hoof towards Care's helmet. Care clapped her hooves together and caught the punch. She twisted Daring's foreleg, but the Pegasus rolled with it, spinning through the air. Daring wrenched out of Care's grasp and followed up with a strong uppercut. Care leaned away to avoid the blow, and she used the inertia to carry her into a backflip. She kicked her legs out and whacked Daring in the chest. The Pegasus stumbled back one step. Ho ho! This rookie got some skill! Daring do dropped all fours and bounced. Do I detect some mastery with a way of the woodpecker? I know a little. Yeah. Care Carrot wiped her nose. But what have you got, yearling? Just... Boxing or something I haven't seen before? Daring do jumped alongside Care. Before the unicorn could turn around, Daring slammed her shoulder into her middle. Daring wrapped her forelegs around Kara's torso and took her to the ground. After a quick scramble, all four legs were restrained in a tight hold. Maybe a little. Daring grunted. Bet you didn't see that coming. Kara broke a leg free, brought a knee to Daring's side, and then rolled away. She brought her forelegs up in a ready stance. I got me with it once. Daring do jabbed, then followed up with a left hook. Kara caught the first, then ducked under the second. While she was low, she let loose a flurry of hits to Daring's side. Daring reached down to block, but Care shifted around to the Pegasus' back. She circled around, constantly moving and constantly delivering volley after volley. Daring smacked her in the side of the head with a sweeping back hoof. Her next strong uppercut landed square in Care's shoulder. The force of the blow carried the unicorn up and over the edge of the mat. Care lay there for a moment, her legs in the air. She let herself flop down, her chest heaving. Uncle, and experience triumphs over youth once again. Daring held her hooves in the air. She then reached down to grasp Care's foreleg. Great job, Captain. Now next time, try not to tire yourself out. Care got to her hooves and pulled off her helmet. You're not so bad yourself, Miss Yearling. Call me Amber. Daring Do said. Amber Kestrel Yearling. Yeah! Twilight Sparkle pounded her hooves into the floor. Go on, Yearling! Don't cheer too loud, Sparkle. Daring said. You're next. Twilight froze. Huh? Daring clapped a hoof on Twilight's back. But first, we gotta teach you how to actually punch. Care shook her mane out. Your Highness, I've been meaning to ask. Twilight rubbed her eyes. Twilight, please. Fine, Twilight. Care grabbed the bag and held it while Twilight paff paff paffed against it. Where's Mr. Blank? I haven't seen him around ever since that he arrived. He's held up in one of the guest rooms. One of the many guest rooms. He said that he wanted to keep mostly to himself. Care frowned. I don't like it, and I don't trust him. He's hiding something. Well, my mom seems to vouch for him. I trust her. Daring Do did a few slow wing-ups. She winced each time that she pushed up. 
I don't see what the big deal is. He's just this weeny little stallion. Makes good oatmeal, maybe, but he ain't done anything suspicious. He dodges all my questions, or outright says that he won't answer. Care brushed a lock of green mane over her shoulder. Call me paranoid, but he's one big... She smacked herself on the forehead. Blank. Of course he is. Daring Do took the bag from her. Well, maybe you should stop treating every conversation like an interrogation. Care bit her bandages to free her hoof. Look, he's a potential danger living right in the castle. He's also a potential friend. Again, my mom's my secondary litmus test for whether something's good or bad. Care shook her legs one by one. So, who's your primary? Spike. Yeah. The dragon in question walked in on all fours, carrying a sheet of paper. You needed something, Twy? Maybe encouragement. Twilight let her forelegs drop to her sides. Ugh. I think I'm just done for the day. Well, good, because I just got a message from the mayor's office. Spike passed her the note. You're wanted in a meeting ASAP. Twilight took the sheet and skimmed it. Does it say what Applejack wants? Nope, not a word. Spike then waved. Hey, Onyurling. How's my favorite dragon? Daring do squeeze Spike in a bear hug. <laughs> Look at you getting bigger. Much you're a little scrawny in your legs. Spike flexed a muscular arm. It swelled to about twice the size of Daring's hind legs. Whoops. I guess I've been neglecting it. Twilight blew a breath through her lips. I'll be back later, guys. Apparently this can't wait. We'll hold down the fort. Daring Do gave her a light shove. You just do your princessy things. Change the world a little bit while you're at it. Should I come too? Kara asked. I'd like for you to come, but it says it's a private meeting. Twilight removed the sweatbands around her ankles. Maybe you and a uh, Yearling can figure out something about the throwing knife while I'm gone. Kara said snap to Daring. You have one of the knives? Had. Twilight said through gritted teeth. She shook her head and trotted out the door. Just try not to kill each other, okay? Seems like Twilight's still very salty about the throwing knife, although rightly so. Now let's head on over to our advanced donators. Top donators, Dash of Evergreen, Peter Coltard, J Tin Man, Darkseid, and Ponyman. Courier Crucii, Delta Omega, Strix, RuneScythe9852, Dospo, Rhiny Dragonwolf, Hunter Norman, Austin Rowland, Secret Moon, Tal Rasha, The Toilet Snake, Sword Brother and Mordred, Cerberus, Goulash Eating Hazar, Starlight Glimmer, Squiddy Boy, Divity Sanchez, Soul Dragon, Gaggy, Trey, Shadow Drake, Joe Piercy, Alex F, Rainbow Dash, Tilka Anderson, TV Killer, John Becker, Leon Reynolds, Raven Speedster, Zach Raquel, and Mr. ECU. Thank you all very much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.